good, brisk, and sunny Sunday morning. How's everybody doing? Welcome back to me and my shadow. Hope everybody's having a great weekend. It is, as I mentioned, Sunday. And we are going for a ride. I've been talking about how to get used to riding at faster speeds. Oh gosh, don't you hate this? Put your helmet on. Oh, and he didn't itch from hell. So once again riding through my front yard like I own it because I'm the master of my domain Bikes on, everything's good to go I've already checked the oil Ah! That's one thing I got called out on in my last video When you guys are checking your oil on your bike Notice how I checked it on the side stand. And you guys, sharp as you usually are, called me on it immediately. Like, did I just see you check the oil when it's on the side stand? And that's a great point. I'm all over the road this morning. Mr. Safety. Never check your oil, guys. Unless you get the bike on level. And usually I do. Um, I was doing that more for, well, okay, I'm saying this, but I, to be honest with you, I was doing it out of pure laziness. I didn't want to level the bike. I was just more or less showing you guys exactly where the uh, oil test, or oil dipstick, whatever. Where do you check the oils at on this bike? So. I apologize if I was being misleading in any way, shape, or form. Was not trying to be. It's chilly this morning. 44 degrees, but you know what, guys? I have decided. You ain't gonna see more complaints to me about cold weather. Not after the ice and all that that we had to deal with. Best that ever gonna hear me give you guys a hard time. Those of you that live in areas where there's snow on the ground and ice on the ground right now, because I have no reason to bitch or complain around here. I mean, seriously. I had we had five days where the kids are out of school. Well four and a half, five days where the kids are out of school due to some ice on the ground. When you guys saw my videos, most of y'all <laughs> were like, that is a walk in the park to what we deal with. So, when that ice is here in Texas, believe me, everything shuts down like it's Armageddon or something. So, no more bitching and complaining. And you guys can call me on it too. Call me on it, man. Say, hey, I thought you said that you weren't going to complain if you couldn't ride because of cold or icy conditions. So, one of the things I'm preaching about, or, well, not, I guess preaching about, or talking about anyway, is the fact that if you want to get used to riding, um, at faster speeds, let me back up. Let me start this over. I personally do not like to ride on the interstate. To be honest with you, if there is a way around it and I've got the time, I will not take the interstate. And 
the reason that is is honestly fear I mean I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you or blow smoke up your butt I prefer cruising speeds over super fast speeds 70 80 miles an hour now the Honda Shadow 750 will do those speeds and it'll do them very comfortably and you can travel on the interstate on a Honda Shadow 750 it is completely possible there are people that have done many long distance trips on these bikes many of you guys know this because you're already subscribers and supporters of the channel however I personally if I can avoid it don't like to take the interstate but let's be honest guys there's just some times you can't avoid it I mean let's say there's a park you want to go to a lake you want to go to an area that you want to go camping or visiting in and I'm waiting on this car come on car come on car come on car thank you car if there's a and let's say you don't have three days to get there right okay first of all I, I'm just doing a lot of backtracking this morning first of all let me just say that um, you don't have to take the interstate there's always a back road that's going to get you there notice on the ground I don't know if the camera's picking it up all this sand from all the ice we had you got to be a little bit cognizant of that especially around here when you are not used to having sand or salt on the road there's still some left over from our nifty little ice storm anyway I digress off that you can usually get to a location that you want to get to without having to take the interstate however is it practical not always You might say, well, you've been riding for 20 plus years. Why do you, why are you fearful of the interstate? I'm just used to cruising at lower speeds, to be real honest with you. I'm used to taking my time. I'm used to um, driving the way I want to drive without having to worry about interstate speeds. So... But there are times where the interstate is unavoidable. There are times where you're going to need to take the interstate. And for people that are new drivers, you say to yourself, well, how do you actually get used to doing something like that? What's the, what's the game plan? How do you... Well, that's what I'm here to show you this morning. One of the quickest and easiest ways to get out on the interstate is do it when there's very little traffic. This is a Sunday morning at 9.19, 9.15 a.m. Preferably if you're going to practice this, you might even want to go a little bit earlier. But like on a Saturday or a Sunday where you know there's not going to be a whole ton of traffic out. It's just going to make life a little bit easier. And as I'm going to demonstrate, what you should do is, your very first time especially, is take it slow. Well, not slow, but take it, take it in little chunks, take it in little bites. So, as we approach the interstate this morning, hopefully there will not be a ton of traffic on the interstate. But you have to get used to the speed. And the wind. I am a firm believer... that it's the speed and it's especially the wind that will get you every time see and if you're not used to oh great we got the interstate closed down up here well I guess we'll go I hate to go back the other way I think I'm going to run around and catch it again on the other side because of the sun I don't want the sun shining in the camera so you guys can see everything that's going on 
but as I was trying to say, getting out early on the interstate where there's n where you're not dealing with a ton of traffic to begin with is going to really benefit you. Getting to a point where you're used to the speeds, and if it freaks you out, if it scares you in any way, shape, or form, then just start taking access roads where you can try to get up to that speed. But do it when there's a lot less traffic. Right now we get quite a bit of traffic. But if you take it in little bites like this, if you take it in little chunks, you're going to be alright. There's all kinds of things to look for on the interstate, to be, but to be 150,000% honest with you, I believe really the interstate is safer than taking normal... normal side streets and roads. You don't... You have traffic flowing all in one direction, okay? It's all going in one direction. And you don't have... as much to worry about in regards to cars coming the other way. You don't have any intersections. You know what I'm saying. You do have to be careful on the merges and things like that. But as we ride around a little bit on the interstate this morning, I hope you're kind of noticing what I'm checking. The traffic's starting to get a little bit busy. I should have been out here about an hour earlier. But here we go. So we'll go ahead and hop on the interstate. We'll just take one exit. Just pretend that we've never done this before. Watch our speeds. Guys, always make sure that when you're on the interstate that you are signaling your intentions so that everybody knows, hey, this guy wants to get off, this guy wants to do this. Signal your intentions. Another good thing is once you're merged onto the interstate, get in a lane position where they can see you. Most people like to ride in the actual fast lane of the interstate because, well, it's basically safer. But for this purpose, I'm only going one exit to show you guys. But see the wind. You can probably hear the wind. It's buffeting the bike around a little bit. This is what I'm saying that you need to get used to. The interstate's usually clear of debris, usually, depending on where you live, clear of chuck holes, potholes. And it'll get you where you gotta go fast. Hopefully, depending on traffic, of course. But see guys, what I'm saying, we'll go one more exit here. It's just take your time, get used to your speed. Right now I'm doing 65, I'm gonna push it up to 70, which is about interstate speed, and you probably can't hear me. Ah, it's a beautiful day. So chilly. Choose a time like right now where there's just not a whole lot of traffic on the interstate. Where you don't have to worry about a whole lot of things. Always obviously keep your head on a swivel while you are on the interstate. And don't let it freak you out. If it does scare you, get off. That's why I suggest maybe taking just one exit at a time. Then maybe the next time you do it, take two exits three exits until you can take baby steps until you can work yourself to a point where you really feel comfortable with what you're doing. Watch with merging traffic. Again, keep your head on a swivel at all times. But if you guys do own a Honda Shadow 750, American Classic Edition, Saber, whatever, it can do interstate speeds with no problem. It can do it safely, and 
and they can deliver you exactly where you want to go. But get out there early, especially if you're not used to it. Get used to the speed. Get used to the wind. I think more than anything else, it's the wind. Buffeting your bike, buffeting your helmet. Depending on if you ride with a windscreen or not, how much wind you get. very noticeable. And just like that, you're going to get to your destination a lot faster. It's not magic, it's not rocket science. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to throw this little clip together here, show you guys it's doable, show you guys the... Um, and don't forget about safety. Don't forget, if you if you have any questions about safety on the interstate and things like that, feel free to go back and check my, some of my other videos about lane position and how to watch traffic and stuff like that. It's, it's kind of important. But don't let the interstate fear really get you to the point where you just feel like you can't do it. When you learn to conquer the interstate, what's going to happen is your roads are really going to open up. Your ability to be able to go places and do things are going to expand greatly. And before you know it, just like anything else with motorcycle riding, the things that used to freak you out, you're going to find out really don't freak you out as much anymore. Be like, oh, it's not that bad. It's the first time I rode on the interstate, man. I'm here to tell you, this is wet here. Oh, well, you know, in the middle of winter, we should have our sprinkler systems on. The grass isn't growing, idiots. But the first time I got on the interstate, guys, I was petrified. I think I did one exit, and I was like, ah, 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 oh my God, oh my God. And I wasn't quite that bad, but you know what I'm saying. It freaked me out pretty bad. So what I did is I took it in little chunks, little chunks. Did one exit. If I wasn't really comfortable with that, I did that same exit again. There's no time limit. There's nobody telling you, hey, you got to get this done by a certain day or a certain time. Take your time with it. Just a short little reminder. Don't let the interstate scare you. If you have questions, feel free to post them. Uh, post a comment and ask a question about anything that you've seen here today or if you have anything that I didn't cover as far as interstate riding. Interstate riding, like any other kind of motorcycle, motorcycle riding is a skill it takes some time to develop don't let anybody push you don't jump out if you're scared don't jump out right away on the interstate build up your speeds get on roads where you can go a little bit faster for more can more consistent and more um, where you can go for longer distances at higher speeds so you can get used to that wind buffeting you and get used to um, the higher speeds, how to react at higher speeds, um, how to keep your head on a swivel. All those things are really important. And before you know it, you'll be on the interstate going, this was not that big of a deal. Again, if you have not subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Just what the heck are you waiting for anyway? You know I won't tell anybody. You know it's just between you and me. And if I haven't earned your subscription yet, keep watching. Because I will. Not to me 66 for me and my shadow. Like I always say, guys, it does not matter what you ride. What matters is that you ride. Everybody have a great day. And we'll see you again real soon. I just dropped my gloves.